Hey everybody, today it's Phoebe. I'm in the kitchen. Okay, today I am going to be making cameraman's favorite French onion soup. Um, we bought this, or I bought this, in Grasslands, Groveland, in the villages, in the New Market Square. But, and it's also gluten-free, which is cool. Um, what you get in here is the basics. It does not come with the beef, beef, beef broth, nor the cheese, nor the croutons or bread, nor the wine. So, this is basically making it from scratch. The only thing I do not have to do is put all the herbs and spices or the onions in it. So, we're going to start with six cups of water and BB is gonna make the beef broth. Faithful old measuring cup. Right, there's four. Two more to go. Voila. All right. I'm gonna put this kind of like on medium. And then we're gonna add the bouillon. Okay. This is what we're doing. All right. So as this gets hot, that's going to dissolve, which that's probably about five bouillon cubes. So it's about a bouillon cube per cup. Let it get hot. Now we have to wait for that to get hot. Okay, now I got to um, shred the cheese. This is Gruger, and it's it's made in Switzerland, so it's probably a really potent cheese. So, anything that you will be needing to finish up the soups that you get from there are on the back of the package. Okay, now I gotta get this off. That's gonna be fine. No, it's not. Baby's just gonna cut it off. Woo -woo. I think BB's going to cut it off. <laughs> this is why we are doing it while that's... There we go. It smells good, though. Since I don't want to come off like it's supposed to. It should peel off, but it just doesn't want to do it today. So we just cut it off. I'm good with that. Peel it like a potato.
thing with this, it called for a half a pound of this cheese. So you can be assured I will be using all of it. It is a hard cheese, I'll give it that. There goes my hands. <laughs> and they say it has to be shredded, so this is why I'm shredding it. So apparently you can make onion soup and not use just mozzarella. Bibi did not know that. I do now. It's running away. got that part done all right let's go check the broth all right it's getting there okay. all right we just gotta wait for that to come to a boil and then we're gonna get ready to put this in it Oh, you can do vegetarian variations with this as well. Cool. Suggested servings and ideal. Make your own croissants using the French baguette bread. Cut into half. Well, we're not going to do the croissants. We're just going to cut the bread and put it in there. Um, and then you put it in the oven for 350 degrees until the bread is crisp. That's if you're cooking, making your own croissants. Croissants, um, croutons. I'll get it out. So you also have information on the back. So allergy information. This product is produced and equipped that also handles peanuts, soy, and tree nuts. Okay. It says gluten-free, preservative-free, no MSG, or added salt. So that's good. All right, so now break out the handy old scissors. All right, so now we're going to dump this in here. BB is also going to stir this up. And you have to bring this to a rolling boil uncovered. For... So there we go. Ooh, that smells so good. Good, good, good. Okay, so until it comes to a boil. He's going to get ready to cut up some of the French baguette bread. I'm going to put it in a bowl. Okay. Move this out of the way for just a moment here. Now, I'm not going to be using this whole loaf. And the reason being is because there's not going to be a need for all that. And then, this way, when I have my soup, because BB don't like burning her soup, I will have my bread on the side. Okay. Here we go. 
So this is like if you were going to make your own croutons. Cameraman does not like hard bread in his French onion soup. He likes his bread soft. So that is what the man is going to get. And you make them in pieces about this size or about an inch. Now, if you were going to make croissant, uh, why do I keep saying croissants? Oh, croutons, okay. Um, you would put a little bit of olive oil on this and any seasoning that you would want. Put it on a baking sheet and cook it in the oven for about at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Flipping it over until it's nice and crunchy. There we go. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best breads to make croutons with. Especially if you have OCD and you have to have things, that, you know, almost perfect in size or shape. This is it. And I've known a few chefs like that. All right, I think that would be more than enough for cameramans, and I'm sure he's going to have two bowls of soup. And another thing you're going to need is soup cups that can actually go in the oven. So these are Corningware. These can go in the oven. You don't have to worry about them getting hot and taking them out and breaking on you. All right, let's wait for our our soup to start boiling. Oh, I wish y'all were here to smell it. It smells so dang good. All right, now we have to, now that it's come to a boil, now we're gonna put it down to six, which is medium, and we're gonna cover it. Now this has gotta cook for 30 minutes. So we're going to let it go. We're going to put the timer on. Timer. There we go. Well, now we wait. Oh, that smells so good. All right, guys. We got a minute and five seconds left. So, so. All right. So we're gonna add the half a cup of wine. And as you can see, it's really not soupy soupy. It's really thick. And that's what French onion soup should be. All right. We're gonna let that finish up. We're gonna turn it off. And then we're going to start putting it in the cups and get the oven ready. Voila. Back in the fridge it goes. Ooh, can you smell it now? <sighs> okay. Okay. I know you're done. and trying to learn how to use a new oven for all my new fan dangle things here. All right, so now this is what we're going to do. Oh, that's heaven, I tell you, heaven. All right. So what we're going to do, well, besides BB, uh, we're going to put that in there. It is really super thick, buddy. Well, I know you're not going to want the bay leaf. Okay. 
All right, we gotta leave room for the cheese and the and, and the bread here. There we go. This is ooh la la right here. I'll take the bay leaf. I don't care. Okay. Actually, we'll take the bay leaf out. Where's my little poon? I need my little poon. Thank you. Golly gee, that smells so good. All right. Now for cameramans. We're going to add some bread into his, like so. We're going to add his cheese, like so. Come listen here, baby. Quit making a mess. Okay. All righty. He loves cheese, so we're going to put some cheese on his. All right, I think that's enough. Right there. Broiler on. We, yes, start. I'm going to cook time. So let's get that going first. Oh, let's get you off. There we go. Mmm. Well, that red wine set it off. Ain't no doubt about that. All right. We're going to scoot Mickey over or just take him off because I want to be able to see. Sorry, Mickey. All right. Hi. It ain't there yet. It'll get there in about a minute. While that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut my bread. There we go. Alrighty. Ooh, look at there, look at there, look at there. Ooh, Papa Bear. Okay, I got it off. Now, To top it off, we are going to put some fresh Parmesan on. I will show you this in just a moment. There we go. Perfecto. And there you have it. French onion soup. And you can also buy this online. We will put it in the description. So until our next video, everybody take care. Take care of one another. See ya. Bon appetit.